I'm Ninja. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're on board this um, Arctic Circle train bound for uh, way up north, Yemivari, Sweden. I'm going on a hiking trip. So um, <laughs> this is uh, where I will sleep tonight. So I've been basically on the train the entire day from uh, from the uh, most part of the southern part of Sweden and I'm going to the most the northern parts of Sweden which will be just as far as I would if I would uh, like go to uh, the south of France or something, or something. Our country is really long, you know. And I'm choosing to go by train because that makes uh, the journey itself uh, a little small adventure um, if you compare to flying and obviously for climate reasons as well. So, so when I wake up, we will be in Laponia. Uh, I'm walking now for five kilometers up the mountain. As you can see, nature here is just amazing and it's very humid, but it's nice because it's not been raining for a while here in Sweden. And yeah, I don't know, <laughs> this just gives you some space and, and it's so quiet here. Just hear the small birds. No traffic. Nothing. Alright you guys, I'm on the train back, back home from uh, uh, Sarek and it's just, 
I mean, I feel like I've been in paradise. Like it wasn't even a real trip. I don't know. Did it need, did it even happen? Like if they would make like a theme theme park with like the theme like Pocahontas or something that would be like the scenery I mean because the water was just so pure and the air was fresh and you know the birds were playing and singing like never before and there were just so many different flowers and you know berries and trees and forest and lakes and rivers and I could go on forever and ever but you know, I would probably bore you to death but, but the thing was that when we were heading back to civilization again, um, the first thing that happened was that our train was cancelled. My train was cancelled and because there was a fire, because there have been fires all over Sweden this summer, because it's so hot, it's so humid. So we stayed at this Airbnb and it was like way up north in Sweden and usually there it's cold, like it's cold in the lakes and it's cold. Like the, it was this huge rainfall uh, just the night we were staying there and even after the rain it, it wasn't cold anymore so it's like i'm just coming from this paradise like <laughs> really like yeah heavenly place and then like arriving back to civilization and there are fires and sweden is literally on fire you know and i mean if sweden is this hot how is the rest of the world doing? I mean, how are you guys doing? We're, we're kind of panicking over here. And it's like, <sighs> climate change is real. It's happening right now and we all need to act. We all need to, to do our part. I mean, it's now. And, um, Yeah, we all have a responsibility. We are all uh, one. So, if the earth is not feeling good, we won't feel good. It's that. It's that simple. And it's just so clear. I mean, I'm heading to the way south of Sweden now, and I don't know how hot it's going to be there. But I mean, I'm really not looking forward to it. Although I want to come home, but it's like. Yeah, I had tears in my eyes leaving this place because it's like so magical and yeah, so um, let's all send love and healing to the earth. Let's all take time to do that, send energies to Mother Earth and to do practical things in our everyday life to help help the planet because this is getting serious folks and uh, that's all for now and peace out Now, but I just uh, I managed to knock myself out of my uh, room here on the train. Now I'm back. Ta -da! I'm gonna sleep soon. But um, I just talked to the guy who worked on the train, and it's like we just passed the area of the, of the fire, and it's like you can smell uh, burnt trees from from the window. We have to have the window open because it's so warm and humid, and it's like uh, really late here and. We are, as I said, up north, usually it's not this warm and it's just so much things that are um, uh, just not normal and he just said that he, in his 30 years working, working on a train he never saw anything like this and now you can't even say that it's fake news anymore about climate change, it's like it's uh, it's real and uh, I just feel that I'm a little bit speechless because yeah and 
before at this uh, beautiful hike that I was doing, I talked to this woman and she had this connection to trees. She said that trees really spoke to her and they gave her healing and they made her feel grounded. And imagine now all the trees that are um, just in, in fire and it just, it just makes me really, really sad. And, um, yeah. This is like the earth calling 911 and it's time for us to take that call. It doesn't get more real than this.